Hey guys, my name is Kurt, and this is Minute Watch. Uh, this is a new channel for me. I have another channel called Minute Stop, where I ride motorcycles around with my friends, and we act silly and do stupid things. Now, I've had a love for watches for a long time, and in about the past two years or so, I started to buy more of them, because I just love them. And I figured, hey, why not make a channel... Uh, uh, devoted to watches and give a little bit of reviews and some insights to them and maybe perhaps offer more information than other reviews have done uh, I'm not saying that other reviews suck it's just that uh, there are certain things that I like to know about in some watches that I often don't see in some reviews or I'm not finding the right ones so whatever I'll make my own uh, if this helps someone shop for a watch um, then perfect if I have one person then I'm stoked so let's get to it this is a Seiko uh, SNK M65. That's SNK M65. This is a part of Seiko's Seiko 5 lineup of affordable watches. This is an automatic watch. And um, uh, it uses the uh, Seiko uh, 7S26 movement. And it is a non-hacking and non-windable movement. Non-hacking means you can't pull out the crown and stop the second hand. And uh, non-windable means you can't pull out the crown and wind it to power the, the spring that powers the movement. Uh, you have to give it a couple shakes to get it going if there's, if there's nothing happening. And then wear, you know, just wear it, it'll be fine. You don't have to worry about it after it gets, it gets going. It's a very efficient, robust movement. And I uh, have not had any problems with this watch. Uh, this particular model uses a Hardlex crystal, which most Seiko's fives, Seiko's, <laughs> which most Seiko's fives, which most of them use. Uh, basically, it's a mineral glass, a hardened mineral glass, pretty standard. The display case back is also Hardlex uh, mineral glass, uh, so it's very uh, uh, shatterproof. But uh, no, no, no. It's, it's very, uh, uh, it's hard. <laughs> I forget, I'm forgetting uh, the differences between sapphire and, and mineral crystal. I think mineral crystal is um, uh, easy to scratch but hard to shatter, while sapphire is uh, hard to scratch, easier to shatter. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, that's just what I hear. I've actually had no experience with breaking uh, crystals because I take care of my watches obviously I'm wearing friggin gloves here so I don't put fingerprints on it specifically specifically for the video anyway um, let's see this thing uses a folded bracelet can you see it's a folded bracelet which means it is a super cheapy flimsy bracelet makes a bunch of noise um, I had this watch on a brown croc strap which works really well with this thing it's amazing but I put the uh, the bracelet that came with this watch on for this video and you know what it's actually not that bad I am gonna probably wear it with this bracelet for a while because it's I mean look at it it's not too bad you know you can't you know if you get over the fact that it's a folded bracelet it's <laughs> it's really nice it's got this somewhat of an oyster style here it's really nice this watch is very nice this is the one I wear um, a lot over some of my more expensive ones, simply because it just looks really nice. Uh, it's it's probably a uh, Grand Seiko uh, homage made by Seiko themselves. And even if you if you look closely here here in the light, um, it reflects the 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 dial reflects a brown hue, just like some of those very much more expensive counterparts. So that's a nice touch from uh, Seiko. And uh, let's check out some watch dimensions. Boop. I actually have a caliper. Because um, the reason I'm doing this is because so often I find that watches I order online are not the size that the seller says they are. And that bugs the crap out of me. So I'm providing you a service by actually measuring it. So the case diameter of this watch is 39 millimeters, just a little bit above 39 millimeters, 39.2. Um, good size, good size watch, good moderate, medium size watch for most people's wrists. It's one of my favorite sizes. 
and let's measure the lug width here and the lug width is about 20 millimeters so that's a that's a legit 20 millimeters for the lug width let's do the case thickness with the glass and the case thickness is about 10.5 millimeters so though there's the dimensions um, now let's check out the uh, uh, this watch is a uh, water resistant to 50 meters, which basically means you can get it splashed, and that's about it. <laughs> Splash! Be sure to wipe it off quickly, it won't handle much more than getting splashed. Um, one of the reasons that I like this watch so much is because sometimes I want to wear something that's very bling bling, and in, I mean, obviously you can see that it's very shiny, but in certain lightings, like, like recessed lighting, um, you know the, the can lighting in stores or you know schools and, sh and stuff like that offices this thing absolutely shimmers the the indexes are are cut so they um, they just reflect a lot of light the, this this bezel is made in such a way that it just just glimmers in lighting like like recessed lighting track lighting too um, the case is a it's a pretty it's a fair, the side is, is nice and polished it's a pretty it's it's a pretty case it's a very nice well made cheap watch at and that um you know 60 70 bucks you can't really go wrong so uh yeah let's check out the loom now because uh give it a little bit of a magic wand here because this particular model has very little surface area for the loom you're not going to really see it for that long see there you go just a few dots here and there for the for the loom and uh, it doesn't last very long because of how little there are but it does look cool and makes for great uh, long exposure shots <laughs> but I didn't buy this watch for the loom I bought it for the uh, everything else um, yeah you really you can't really go wrong with this watch again that's the, the Seiko SNK Sierra Nancy Kilo M65 Mary 65 um, did I say Sierra Nancy Kilo? <laughs> oh, well. um, good gift for someone who you would like to get into uh, automatic watches or a great gift for yourself or even your girlfriend or wife or mother or whatever. I mean, hell, it's not that big of a watch where it, it, it would look it would look, you know, weird. Actually, a lot of women are wearing big watches these days. That seems to be the fad. But yeah, this I love this watch. Uh, I'm sure you would too. You you're gonna catch yourself staring at this a lot. But um, okay, uh, that's my review, and I hope you like it, and I hope it was helpful. And come back for more. Aloha.